if you didn't think the WWE was starting to change for the better after returns at SummerSlam from Io Shirai, aka Io Sky, Dakota Kai, and Bailey coming back to the company, as well as the fact that now wrestlers are getting their chances to get longer matches in the ring, storylines seem to be looking better, the show is flowing a whole lot better, and then going into SmackDown today, we got an absolute delight at the end of the show. When nobody expected it, there was a little bit of leaks, but nobody expected that it was 100% confirmed. Karrion Cross and Scarlett Bordeaux during the main event segment with Roman Reigns and Drew McIntyre made their returns tonight to the WWE as Karrion Cross attacked Drew McIntyre from behind, started bashing his head against the steel steps, and then Scarlett Bordeaux comes down to the ring and puts an hourglass in the ring indicating to Roman Reigns and the Usos that the clock is ticking. Tick tock. Tick tock. And that time is running out for the Tribal Chief and his fellow Bloodline members as Scarlett and Karrion Cross are back in the WWE and what an amazing moment it was tonight at WWE SmackDown. What's going on everybody? I hope everybody's had a great Friday evening so far. This is MYG Jeffy T3285 and I just have to say I'm extremely excited for the direction that the WWE is going right now. I'm very excited at what I've seen so far since SummerSlam came around. We've had not one, not two, not three, not four, but five former talents that were pretty much injured or released from the company or going to be leaving the company have all returned within the past week or so with Dakota Kai, Io Shirai, AKA Io Sky, Bailey, and now Karrion Cross and Scarlett, Scarlett Bordeaux. Five talents have already returned to the WWE. And now you have to be thinking, who else might be on the way back to the WWE? Bray Wyatt, Tegan Knox, Dexter Loomis, Johnny Gargano, Candice LeRae. Anything is possible right now with the new direction and underneath the leadership of creative control with Triple H going forward right now. As right now, WWE just seems to have some type of invigorated moxie going in right now and just a rebirth in their company since Triple H has taken over. Some fan favorites are now returning to the company. The wrestling has been much better and the wrestlers have gotten opportunities now to show what they can do in the ring. And there's even going to be a tournament starting this coming Monday for the vacant Raw tag t Women's Tag Team Championships to see what tag team is going to have their opportunity to potentially hoist the NXT Tag Team Women's Champion, uh, the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships going forward. And there have been rumors rampant going around that both Sasha Banks and Naomi are on the way back and that they should be returning soon. So you have to figure there could be another surprise that could be inserted right into that women's tag team division and that could vie for those women's tag team championships going forward. But this was... It's been an absolute unexpected to, unexpected surprise tonight to see Karrion Cross and Scarlett Bordeaux make their return to the WWE. Nobody was expecting it. There were little hints being dropped, but nobody expected they would show up tonight on WWE SmackDown, make their returns, and have the type of impact that they did tonight going into the show. And now you have something to look forward to going into the next SmackDown show as Karrion Cross is pretty much inserted himself into the WWE Universal Title Championship picture with him taking out Drew McIntyre and there could be a potential feud going forward with Cross and McIntyre heading into the fall and winter months for the WWE. Or at least Drew McIntyre can end up winning that championship from Roman Reigns at Clash of the Castle and we could have ourselves a Drew McIntyre and Karrion Cross feud going into the fall and winter months. This is a very exciting time right now to be a WWE fan, as some of your fan favorites, like I mentioned earlier in the video, are starting to return to the company, and you have to wonder who might be next to make their return to the company when you least expect it. The one thing I worry about, though, is you don't want to have too many people coming back at too soon of a time, because you don't want to stunt the growth of some of the other people that are starting to get a little bit of TV time that should. 
But at the same time, you have to feel some excitement for some people that were wrongfully released from the company before, and now they're going to get their second chance to see what they can show the WWE main roster audience and even the NXT roster going forward. As a lot of these former talents that were released right now reside in AEW, but you can't say that AEW and other wrestling promotions are not paying attention to what Triple H and his upper management with Stephanie McMahon and Nick Khan are showing the company right now, as they have definitely given a rebirth and new life to the WWE going forward. So as a fan of the WWE, as somebody that's still stuck with the company, even through the garbage wrestling, the garbage promos, and the garbage television that we've had to watch for the past five, six, seven years, maybe even longer, probably longer than that, it finally looks like under the leadership of Triple H, we see some light at the end of the tunnel, and we're starting to see some type of television that we've been wanting to see from the WWE for a long time. And with the returns of Dakota Kai, Io Shirai, Bailey, Karrion Cross, and Scarlett Bordeaux to start in just literally under the past first week, you can't say that WWE is not getting more intriguing and more exciting. And you know that other wrestlers that were able to release from the WWE and wrestlers from other promotions are not salivating at the chance to return to the company and get a chance to show what they can do in the WWE going forward because Triple H will do what he can to make sure he gives everybody a shot to shine when they definitely 100% deserve it. So, I mean, you cannot be, you can't just not be excited after what you're seeing. Ricochet got a big win tonight against Baron Corbin with an assist and a distraction from Pat McAfee. Shinsuke Nakamura was able to defeat Ludwig Kaiser in a pretty, in a really pretty good match tonight. And he'll get a shot at Gunther for the WWE Intercontinental Championship next week on SmackDown. You have Liv Morgan, who's going to be taking on Shayna Baszler at Clash at the Castle for the WWE SmackDown Women's Championship. I'm glad Shayna Baszler is finally getting her push. And if I were right, I'd actually let her go over and beat Liv Morgan going into w and going into the fall months because I think Shayna Baszler deserves that championship. And especially now with Liv Morgan nursing that arm injury, Shayna Baszler might just be a type of person right now that could take advantage of it and walk away with that SmackDown Women's Championship in a couple of weeks at Clash at the Castle. But everybody right now is buzzing after the sudden, unexpected returns of Karrion Cross and Scarlett Bordeaux to the WWE and the type of twist and new entry that they are going to bring to that SmackDown brand as now Roman Reigns, Drew McIntyre, and the entire SmackDown roster has been put on notice that Karrion Cross and Scarlett are back. Tick tock, everybody. Time is running out for Roman and the Bloodline as Karrion Cross, along with Drew McIntyre, are making their way and are looking right at that WWE Universal Championship. And it seems like the championship reign of Roman Reigns may be coming to an end very soon. I hope everybody enjoyed the SmackDown show tonight. I think it's been good. Like I said, I think the WWE has been really clicking on all cylinders since SummerSlam last this past Saturday. Saturday. I'm really curious to see what the shows are going to look like going forward. And now, at this point, anything is possible in terms of return as WWE has seemed to have gotten their buzz back, their excitement back from what they had before as Triple H has really just given this brand and this show and this entire corporation and program just new life with the type of booking he's put together as well as the returns that we have been getting. Unexpected. And nobody want, thought this was going to happen. So... I'm excited, and I'm really curious to see what's going to happen next with this new faction control with Bailey, Io Shirai, Io Sky, and Dakota Kai, as well as what Karrion Cross and Scarlett Bordeaux are going to be doing. If they're going to be going right after Roman Reigns in the bloodline for the WWE Universal Championship, or if they're first going to have a feud with Drew McIntyre if he wins the championship at Clash of the at the Castle or not. Either way, I'm excited, and I'm really on curious to see. Who may be next to return to the WWE in the coming days, weeks, months, who even knows. It's whatever Triple H decides to do, and it's whatever is going to happen next. But I'm excited, and this is something I've, I've not been excited for the WWE in a long time. And I can say right now, I'm really excited to see what's going to happen with the WWE going forward. So I hope everybody enjoys the rest of your Friday night and, head, and heading to the weekend. 
If you like this video, please hit the like button below and subscribe if you haven't already to NYG Jeffy T3285 for more breaking news updates and chatter surrounding the WWE, Brooklyn Nets, New York Mets, New York Giants, as well as Food for Thought. Share your comments below on what you think and how excited or how you feel about the returns tonight in the WWE SmackDown of Karrion Cross and Scarlett Bordeaux. What you think about the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships now being now having a tournament contested to see who will be crowned the WWE new Women's Tag Team Championships and is there possibly Sasha and Naomi are on their way back. What you think about Shayna Baszler versus Liv Morgan at Clash at the Castle for the WWE SmackDown Women's Championship? Shinsuke Nakamura versus Gunther on SmackDown next week for the WWE Intercontinental Championship? And just much more concerning the WWE. And just let me know in the comment section your excitement for the WWE or if you're still a little bit on the fence. If you're still on the fence about the product, you want to see more. And turn on the bell for notifications on when the next WWE short or video is going to be dropping on the channel. So I hope everybody enjoys the rest of your Friday night. I hope everybody has a fantastic weekend. And if you're a WWE fan, you cannot just keep that smile off your face and cannot be excited for what we're about to witness going into the rest of the summer months and go heading into the fall and the winter for the WWE for the rest of 2022 and beyond. Have a great rest of your night, everybody. Take it easy. and. Let's see what the WWE has going next.